banana cabananians. What's on the adventure bill for today? Oh, it's too hot in here, Howie. I'm sweating like a pig. Oh, big scoop. Uh, never mind, too hot. I need an air conditioner. What are you talking about? It's totally comfortable. That's easy for you to say, Mr. Ice Pants. <laughs> it's like a swamp in here. The all fanciful and gracious Poodle requests your presence at the Chateau Chateau. My sister asked to see me. Why? To witness the awarding of... <sighs> it's like a swamp in here. Told you. <laughs> Heat. Overwhelming. Must get to the Chateau. The air conditioning. Air conditioning. We should stampede. <laughs> Can't feel my brain. And finally, Monsieur Critique, the masterpiece of my hotel, the fountain. That's French for the fountain. Tis a great honor to present the Chateau Chateau with a six-star rating out of five. <laughs> Find a wall to hang these stars on, Batty. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, what's that stench? I'm here. You miss me? <sighs> Howie, I thought I smelled you and the ew crew. Your foul scent always makes me. Gesundheit. <laughs> hey, nice star, sis. So, what exactly did you need? Need? From you? <laughs> I invited you and your stinky friends here only to show you how a real hotel gets stars. I get stars all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I've arranged for Monsieur Critique to star rate your hotel. Bonjour. Tomorrow. That soon? Thanks, sis. You're not very bright, are you? When? Daddy says that if the Banana Cabana doesn't receive at least a one-star rating, your hotel will be shut down, put out of business, mindies! Oh, no. If we lose the hotel, where will we live? If we lose hotel, where, Piggy Coop? If we lose the hotel, where will I pout about? Sounds good to me. So, what are the chances of you lending us a star since you have an extra? <laughs> <laughs> you laugh so weird. Howie, don't you get it? Daddy gave you a hotel. Uh -huh. I want your hotel. Roger that. I'm going to take your hotel. Woo! -hoo. Way over my head. I'm bored of this conversation. Ratty? <laughs> How do you always know exactly what I want you to do when I call your name? It's a gift. Gesundheit. Oh, it's still boiling in here. Come on, Bun. The cabana isn't that hot. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Okay. Now, what are a few things we can spruce up around here to get that star? Any ideas? Anyone? No one. Nothing? Really? No one. Yes, you. Can I get a towel? Uh, we don't have those. Isn't it simply laughable, Batty? How he actually believes he has a chance at getting a star for that shack he calls a hotel. <laughs> well, he'll have to... <laughs> Come, Batty. We have maniacal and fancy things to do. Hello? Duck? You're not Poodle. What are you still doing at the Chateau? Howie, how did you get inside this thingy? Ow, ow, ow! Duck, I'm not inside the telephone. Uh, never mind. Ooh, we need Poodle's help to get a star. So while you're over there, be a pal and do whatever she says. Okay, buddy? Okay, buddy. Anything she needs. Got it. Thanks, Duck. Can I talk to Poodle now? Hey! You can't be in this office. <laughs> Duck, are you there? What's going on? The stars are aligning. Great. Not sure what that means, so can I just talk to Poodle? Once Howie loses the cabana to me, I'll never have to hear his whiny voice again. Gesundheit, <laughs> it's for you. Hello. Poot, question. How does one go about getting a star? Because <laughs> I got, like, <laughs> no stars. <laughs> Howie, I want you to fail badly. Why would I help you? Because you want to? Nope. Because you need to? Nope. Because we're related? 
Don't remind me. Please, Poot, tell me what I have to do. I'll do anything you say. Anything! Well, if you're really foolish enough to take my advice... Oh, I am! I am! You should be rude to all your guests. Be rude? Are you sure? Yes, of course. Guests simply love it when you're rude to them. Why, I'm rude with you, aren't I? I am. I'm terribly rude to you. Okay, I'll try. Thanks, Poo. Dull. Poo dull. Ta ta, darling. I'm gonna regret asking. But what did Poodle say, Howie? <laughs> Sit on it, eight arms. What's wrong with you, dog? <laughs> Besides, you're cooking. I'm confused. <laughs> Tell us something we don't already know, Bunny. Wow, you're being so rude. Ha! That was Poodle's advice, and I completely trust her for some strange and nonsensical reason. Oh. Help Poodle look rude. Help Poodle look rude. Ah. <clears throat> May I? Why, thank you. Yoink. That was very rude. You are welcome. I tell you, this meal is simply wonderful. <laughs> This stays between us. Agree. Gotta be rude, gotta be rude, gotta be rude. Well, here goes nothing. Hey, nice tie, buddy. Many thanks to you, sir. Poodle was right. Guests really do enjoy being verbally assailed. I have to call her. <laughs> now what, sis? Huh? Huh? If you thought being rude worked well, try filling your swimming pool with rancid gravy. Go make gravy on it. More of a ketchup then, huh? Not bad. Now what, sis? Huh? Huh? Well, you should also try hanging all of your furniture on the ceiling. Furnish ceiling, check. Whoa. Something has gone terribly wrong. What could possibly be worse than ruining my beauty sleep? Ruining your hotel? Okay, that's worse. There are still a few cans of paint left in storage. Ah, uh, there were a few cans of paint left in storage. This is the worst hotel I've ever stayed at. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Your rancid gravy pool gave me a rash, and I fell off a lounge chair. But how did... how did... Howie... Gesundheit. <laughs> Hi. We're mad at you, Howie. But I forgive you. Lately, you only seem to care about the hotel. I'm sad to say that you've turned into... into... Poodle? Aw, oh, that's sweet. You know, No, I, I mean Poodle! <laughs> Ever hear of a tissue? Oh, hey, Poodle. Is your guy here to rate the hotel now? Because I should probably tell him off first, right? You may have destroyed my hotel. Huh? And you may have stolen my stars. What? But I now have something of yours. Ta-da! Duck? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. He owes me money. Unless you return my stars, your precious duck will be working. No, make that toiling for me. Let me see if I can fit you in. How is your Tuesday looking? I want my stars! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh. Don't just stand there, Batty! Help me! I have finished rating the Banana Cabana. This establishment is a complete dive. But what about all our hard work? None of that stuff helped because it was work and it was hard. However, it does have a certain... Homey-ish feel. Homey-ish? You call this place homey-ish? Ha! The hotel is a dump! I mean, they don't even have air conditioning. It's as hot as a swamp in here! Uh, pardon me, but I happen to be from the swamp. And since you no longer have a hotel, you can't have any stars. 
You know, my family is coming to town this weekend, and our reservations at the Chateau have suddenly fallen apart. Well, guys, looks like we don't need that air conditioner after all. Oh. Ain't it great? Oh, this is marvelous. Enjoying your stay with us, sis? There's a fly in my beverage. Hey. Let us know if there's anything else you need. We should stay here every time our hotel gets destroyed. Cannonball! Gesundheit. I know we can get up to 155. Do I see 155? 155. 155. 5 and a 5. 1 and a 5. 2 fives after a 1. 1 after a 5. And a 5 after a 1. Do I hear 2? 5. 1 and 5. 5. 5 and 5. Oh! The odd looking shaved animal wearing undies. And that takes us to our final item of the evening. The item all of the ladies have been salivating for me. <laughs> I'll be auctioning off myself to be one lucky fan's errand boy for the day. Let's start off the bidding low, shall we? Say, 18 quadrillion dollars! And 38 cents. Okay, how about 10 bucks? All right, here I got 10. Now 15, I got 15 here. Who would do 20? 20, 25, do I see 25? 20, 25, yes, 25! 30 smackaroonies! <laughs> Duck baby, what are you doing to me? I have always wanted a horned fish of my own. <laughs> Ladies, 35? Please. 34.99? Oh, sold to duck. I am a winner! <laughs> yes, we're all winners here tonight. Thanks for coming or whatever. <laughs> See if I ever sell myself again. Enter. Welcome. So, what do you want me to do first? Wait a minute. You don't want a belly rub, do you? <laughs> Please tell me that isn't what you want. That is not what I want. Oh, thank goldfish. My waffle duck. No, no, you don't want me to. Wait, you just want me to get that down for you? That would be dandy. Here you are. Here I am. So is that it, to I am having a party. I see. You want me to entertain. So, how do you want to do this? Should I start out with my biggest hit, Rhymes with Orange, which, as you know, reached number 687 on the pop charts in that country so small no map or globe is willing to recognize it? No, thank you. No, thank you? You will be working the door as security instead. Only the animals on the guest list may enter. Say what? Sometimes I have secret parties. Now, about that belly rub. Uh, I'll just be, uh, I'll be outside. Otto, my favorite gooey blue spider. Hi, Nora. Wait, what? You can keep a secret, right? I can keep a secret. Uh, all right, fine. But you two can't tell anyone else the secret. Nora, how he told us you have a secret? What? How did you even? Oh, fine. But this stays between us. Duck is having me work the door for a super duper top secret party he's throwing. Super? And duper? Awesome! awesome! Yeah, I wouldn't get your misguided hopes up. You guys aren't invited. What are you talking about? We're Duck's friends. Of course we're invited. Oh, Piggy, very excited. Time for Piggy to let Piggy's hair down. But Piggy, you don't have any hair. Piggy, let hair down! <laughs> Here is the list of guests who have yet to arrive. Only the names on the list may come inside to party. All these pages are blank. That is correct. It is now time to get back to the party. Party time. Ah. Oh, party time. Time to party. Hey, Narwhal. Sorry, guys. Only the animals on the list are allowed inside. And you didn't make the cut. Narwhal, there must be some kind of mistake. Come on, you can let us... Hey, what's that? Sorry, gang, no can do. Believe me, I want in just as bad as you, but we're not on the list, and I really don't want to have to tase anyone again. 
I guess that's it. Looks like we're not getting in. Oh, well, I guess I'll just go crawl into a bubble bath and call it a night. Bunny, there's no need to resort to bathing. Guys, we can't give up yet. That sounds like the party of the century in there. But, Howie, we're not on the guest list. Oh, aren't we? Oh, no. I recognize that smile. He has a plan. <gasps> Hello. This must be where the party is. Please go ahead and consult your list on which you will find our corresponding names. And your names are? Blank. Your names are blank? Yes, all of our names are blank. <laughs> We're related. Oh, yes, here we are. Blank. That is us there. Huh. So it is. Well, enjoy the party. See, Bunny, I told you that would work. And I think this whole time you were like, Howie, there's no way wearing disguises and using fake names is going to work. But me, Howie, I told you, Bunny, that it would work. Didn't I? And it did. Right, Octo and Piggy? Wait a second. Why is it I'm starting to get the feeling that none of you are blank at all? <gasps> How dare you? Ooh, remote, Narwhal. What's it for? No idea. Duck just told me to push the button if I ever caught anyone trying to sneak into his party. Oh. <gasps> ah, that's it? That pathetic thing is... Oh. Oh. Piggy never get to do dumb party and get chance to try out slick new dance moves. What you nanze? That was job, awesome. Piggy. You know, Piggy's right. We'll never get into Duck's party. Don't worry, guys. I'll find us a way in. Now, grab hold of me and I'll guide us safely down, landing in that nice, soft, open-roofed pillow warehouse. Oh, uh, you mean the one that's next to the patch of abnormally large and mutant-like cacti? That's the one. <laughs> Any more great ideas, Howie? Licorice dental floss? I meant ideas about getting us into Duck's party! Oh, nah. Aw, oh, come on, guys. Don't worry. Oh. Hey, my next idea is here. This baby will launch us gracefully into the air, landing safe and sound past Narwhal and into Duck's party. What could possibly... Oh. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Huh? No! Oh. Oh. Okay. I think it's time to explore some new options. <laughs> you know, as I was sitting there, impaled under that gigantic cactus, I realized we can just throw a love party! Pretty great, right, guys? Guys? <laughs> Come on, guys, stay with me. I mean, just look at how awesome our party is. <laughs> Everybody's having so much fun! <laughs> When did he say we're gonna get paid for this? Huh? Huh? Hmm. I know what'll turn this party up a notch. Bouncy castle time! Boing! 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 Oh! Hey, I know! Who's up for an extra, 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 extra hot jalapeno blaster eating competition? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys! How fun is this? Party! Maybe we should just try talking to Duck. Great idea, Bunny. Ahem. Have you, have, have you... Great. You guys are back. But this time we're here to show Duck that not inviting us to his party is wrong. Go on. We would never not include Duck in one of our parties. Most likely. And it's only fair that Duck at least tells us why we're not invited. Well, it's too bad I only trust all of you about as far as I can throw you! But you actually make a good point. Hello. Duck? We just wanted to ask you a quick question. Why weren't we invited to your dumb party? I really want to go to. Pretty please? I think what Bunny is trying to say is, we want to go to your party really badly. Okay. What? Just like that? Then why couldn't we come in earlier? You did not ask me. Huh, he's got you there, Bunny. But he... We could stand out here arguing all night. Or we could all just go party! Yeah! Right, let's get this party! Stunted? 
What's going on? Where is everybody? Everybody? All the other animals? There are no other animals. But I thought you were having a party. I am. It is a party for just me. That way, I can play any music I want. My preference? Party sound effects. I blame myself for not seeing this coming. Huh. Well, I guess we weren't missing out on the best party ever after all. But that doesn't mean we can't turn this into the best party ever. Guacamole? All right! Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is great dip, Duck. Piggy liked the little chewy bits. Duck, you're almost out. Do you have any more? I have another batch almost ready. It just needs the finishing touch. Ooh, la la. Now that is a party. Party time. It's time to party. It's party time. Bunny! Check it out. It finally came. My brand new Dirt Danger Copious Chemicals Chemistry Set. Well, don't go blowing yourself up just yet. I need your help safe-proofing the hotel for the Furless Fearless Possum Conference. They'll be here any minute. And you know how they can get a little nervous about things. Oh, oh, these stairs are too steep and scary. This toast is too crispy. I'm frightened. This glass is made of glass. I know all about the possums. That's why I got the chemistry set. You've lost me. Ghost possums are so careful and nervous, so I'm gonna mix up a potion that'll make them fun and exciting and ready for anything, just like <gasps> me! Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go up to my room now. I'm sure you've heard we possums are slightly <laughs> nervous. So everything has to be perfect. Piggy cooking always perfect. Huh? What happened? Is he all right? I was merely demonstrating how sensitive we possums are. Even the slightest harsh tone of voice can make us play dead. I'm kind of like that too, but in my case, I just ink myself. Now, today's meeting is extra special. They're about to graduate. Graduate? I've been training them to overcome their fears and stop playing dead. So, regarding tonight's dinner... Piggy makes specialty! Spicy fajitas! Oh, no. <laughs> wow, you're not kidding. <laughs> Ask squiggly thing. Maybe Piggy make marshmallows instead. This'll toughen those possums up for sure. A pinch of this for confidence, a dash of that for funness, and now to taste a tiny... Sip. Oh, oh, that was horrible! Ah. Captain Fizzy's fuzzy orange soda, make that awful, awful taste go away! <laughs> now it's time to party with Hyena! Weird. Sorry, but I seem to have lost your reservation. Oh, no. Are you sure? I, I'm certain I... Oh. Carl, remember your training. <laughs> Carl's down! Cut that out! Careful, Bunny. There can't be any loud noises or shocks of any kind. Speaking of loud noises, where's Howie? Howie? Get oh, oh no! What happened in here? Hey ya! Howina is in the house and he's ready to party! Party? <laughs> what have you done with Howie? Howie's been extra fortified! Is fortified even a word? Yeah, but hey, ba 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 How'd you get all the way up there, buddy? You so crazy. What's all the racket? Howie threw me 
up here. Only it wasn't him. Well, it was him, but it was kind of a bigger, hairier him. And he left. It was horrible. Octo, I love to stay in here about how I transform into a hairy lunatic, but I've got to go make sure our possum guests are enjoying their stay. Oh, no. Hey! Congratulations, fellow fainter. You are on the verge of overcoming all your fears. Okay, some of you still have a way to go. Just remember our slogan. I'm furless, I'm fearless, I won't play dead again. Well, looks like everything's going smoothly in here. Uh, Captain Fizzy's fuzzy orange soda! See, he's fine. But he was big and hairy and terrifying! <laughs> See? Tickle time! <laughs> oh, no! Remember the slogan? I'm f f f f f fainting! <laughs> Howie, stop! Not Howie! I'm the Howiena! Yeah! <laughs> Let's sing! Let's dance! Somebody pull my finger! That could be disastrous! Oh no! How we must have messed up his potion! Surprise, surprise! We have to stop that party animal! Let's go! Uh, you guys stay here. Quiet treats, non threatening snacks, Captain Fizzy's fuzzy orange soda! Where is he? Where is who? Howie! Only he isn't really Howie, he's... <laughs> Let's get this party started! Cannonball! Uh, who's that? Da 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 zoom Well, hello there, gorgeous. The name's Howiena. Charmed. You are loud, obnoxious, and rude. <laughs> and I love it! Hey, why is everybody so wet? Howie, what's going on with you? You keep changing into a wild beast. It's quite amazing. It seems like it happens every time you have a Captain Fizzy's fuzzy orange soda. Thirsty Howie. Am I? <laughs> no! <laughs> Let's have some fun! <laughs> Right behind you guys! Don't wait up! Phew! Sloth's really flying now! All right, we just have to stay on our feet. <laughs> uh, hey folks, let's conga! Oh, I love to conga! Conga, conga, conga! I'm furless, uh, I'm fearless, uh, I won't play dead again! Oh. oh no, we're too late! He started to conga! What are we gonna all right, possums and possumettes, it's the thing you've all been waiting for. Me! Narwhal's voice is soothing him. Hey, hold on. Who's the hairy guy? Keep scanning! Ooh, the possums like it too. Okay, now that's creepy. All right, Octo. While Narwhal keeps everyone calm, you and Duck go try to mix an antidote for whatever potion Howie cooked up. How will we know which ingredients to use? With science. Take me to the lab. Is that it? Did you figure it out? No. Try again. Who knows how long Narwhal can keep scatting? This whale needs to take ten. Keep scatting! On my way, guys. Here goes. Nope. That's weird. Nope. Nope. There is one mystery ingredient missing. Earwax? Family secret. Perfect. Well, it'll have to do. Yes. 
free at last! <laughs> Too late! Too late for what? Tiny Dog Thing! Give Piggy magic -y potion! It's ninjutsu time! Hey guys, what's up? It worked! You did it, Duck! Did what? Hold on! How can we be sure the antidote worked? Ooh. All right. Made it. Here, Howie, drink this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that hit the spot. It worked. Oh. Guys, we still have a problem. What are we going to do with all these possums? I got this covered. I recorded Narwhal scatting and looped it. Why didn't you just play it before? I didn't think of it then. Oh, congratulations, graduates. As my gift to you, please enjoy copies of my CD. The best way to stay relaxed and, you know, not collapse on the floor like a bunch of weirdos. I'm glad we're finally rid of that awful scary monster. And I'm glad you got rid of that ridiculous chemistry set. What did you do with it anyway? Gave it to Duck. Ah! Waka, waka, waka. Duck, you're cured. Howie! 